At square seven, you're ready to choose people for your study. Let's assume your population of interest is American adults. But getting to everyone in the U.S. is too big a project. So you decide to select a sample from the population pool. And in order to get an unbiased sample, you want to randomly sample this population. This is a great idea, and unlikely to happen. It's true that the doctrine of random sampling says the proper way to study a group is to give everyone in that group an equal chance of being selected. And it is important because the statistics you'll use to analyze the data are based on the assumption that you used random sampling. But you won't do that. There are a lot of people who aren't available to you. There are people in hospitals, at work, traveling in other countries, living in nowhere places without phones. No, you're going to start your study by breaking one of the basic assumptions of science, random sampling. Instead of selecting from the population pool of interest, you're going to sample from the pool of convenience. Don't be too harsh on yourself. Everyone else in science makes the same mistake. They all violate this rule, too. I just want you to notice that it is a violation and to adjust your interpretations accordingly. So when it comes to findings, don't trust them completely. We'll select our subjects like the pros do. We'll get freshmen in college to do it. This is the typical group to study. The reason is that you can get college kids to do most anything, including volunteering to be in a study. Just offer them a few extra points toward a good grade in the tough class, and they'll show up. If we can't do random sampling, giving everyone an equal chance of being selected, the next best thing is to randomly select them. Random sampling says to select from the entire ocean of subjects. Random selection says that no matter how small the pool you were using, use chance to pick them. Random sampling says choose from all the fish in the sea. Random selection says it's okay to fish in your backyard as long as you're not biased in your selection. Fishing in a small pool isn't as bad as picking only the ones who fit your model. You have to try for an unbiased sample. As you can see, selection is not an easy process. It certainly falls short of the theoretical ideal. We started with a theory and have worked our way through the process. And though we can't afford to test everyone in the U.S., we're aiming for as large a sample as we can. We will, of course, find that our subject pool is even smaller than we suspected. We know who to ask, but the subjects have to agree to come. Even college students have lives, and we'll have to schedule our research at a time that's convenient for them. Looking at our budget, we can afford to test 100 people. So the challenge is to get a group of 100 subjects that is as unbiased as possible. We may not get random sampling, but we can randomly select from those who sign up. It won't be perfect, but we'll do the best we can.